Maintenance types are used to classify what type of work the job is, and they become very useful when running reports. So for instance, you can run a report uh, based on maintenance type. Uh, it's also a handy way of categorizing work orders and giving a little more context uh, behind what they're about. So if I go over to maintenance and work orders are selected, I have maintenance type selected over here, and it's actually one of the fields I can sort by as well. Okay, so it's very handy in general to specify what kind of, uh, of work the job is by setting the maintenance type here. So a new CMMS will have 10 different maintenance types that come standard, and these are more suggestions than anything else. So you're definitely encouraged to upgrade or to, uh, to modify these and edit out or delete the ones that don't fit your needs. So to do that, I'm going to head over to settings and then along the top here to look up tables. This is the same place we go to edit things like work order statuses or meter reading units. Okay, so for maintenance types, I have the option of deleting uh, existing maintenance types. Okay, and in this case, it's not going to let me because damage has already been used. So I can either add another maintenance type. So for this one, I'll, uh, I'll call this Canadian regulatory. Okay, I can add a description if I want. Okay, and then for the color, it uses an RGB color code. So the website I'm on here is called HTML Color Codes. And uh, basically, find the color I want, and then I'll copy the code over. Okay, enter here, and save. Okay, alternatively, if I just want to edit one of them, so for instance, I want to call this one something different, I click on upgrade, I can reclassify this as refit work.